get out of here. No. You're going to act as innocent as that jury found you, if not for your sake, then for Marty's. Now, the DA's going to throw the same question at you I did. If you didn't kill your husband, who did? You handled it just fine an hour ago. Now you're coming apart. You owe it to Marty not to let that happen. You must know. It would be unusual for a lawyer to ask another to take on a case, not tell him everything about it. They uh, won't put a call through at the hospital, not at this time of night. In the morning, we can both go over and see him. You can satisfy yourself then. There's nothing to be frightened about anyway. I mean, even if I were trying to trap you, it wouldn't matter. You can't be tried twice for the same crime. You could hire a hall and boast about how you killed your husband, and there's nothing the law could do. The only one in danger now is Marty. But what do you mean, Marty's in danger? Well, to quote the canons of professional ethics, the office of attorney does not permit the use of fraud or chicane in the defense of a client. Now, when Marty coached you, drilled you in exactly what to say to Dr. Brickow, that was chicane. Could get him disbarred, even charged with a felony. Why didn't you tell me you knew? Why, Paul? Why didn't you tell me? To God, why didn't you tell me? Mm -hmm.